Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Minecraft video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Now before we get into this video, I want to explain to you guys how this video is going to work because we have two different consoles within this video. So this is the top 20 Minecraft seeds and we have some absolutely mind-blowing seeds in this video but I'm going to explain to you guys how it works so the first half of the video we're gonna take a look at the top 10 Minecraft seeds for PC and then the other half of the video we're gonna take a look at the top 10 seeds for Minecraft Pocket Edition so for example if you're only here for Minecraft Pocket Edition then you can skip to this time on the screen otherwise the PC part the top 10 Minecraft seeds for PC will be starting in just a couple seconds here but if you're only here for Minecraft Pocket Edition seeds then feel Feel free to skip to that time on the screen I just want to let you guys know but I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day and without further ado let's go ahead and check out the top 20 Minecraft seeds for PC and Minecraft Pocket Edition The next seed we have here isn't like any crazy loot. Now there's probably loot if you go into mining and such. I mean, there's loot everywhere when you go into mining, but this is just a default world and it's not amplified. You may think it is amplified, amplified but it's not so it's actually really cool so let's check this out this makes a crazy terrain for possibly building an awesome house and doing some amazing things so you're going to spawn uh, i spawned about right here you'll spawn somewhere different about every time but we have this mm, these massive or this and these like massive hills and this one's probably my favorite right here so let's go ahead and wait for this to generate So the terrain on this seed is just absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, you can find a ton of loot when you go mining. There's also a ravine. I believe it starts like right around this area and kind of goes like that way. So there is a ravine underground, which is pretty sweet. But you can see this top part right here is like already flattened out. It's already flattened out and perfect to build a hillside kind of cliff house, which would be really cool. And I've never built like a hillside cliff house on something crazy like this. So you guys would have to let me know how it goes if you take this into consideration and plan on using this seed. So yeah, this seed doesn't require, I mean, a lot of loot or anything like that. It doesn't have a lot of loot, but it's definitely beautiful. And it's an absolutely amazing place to build your house and invite some friends, of course. I had to throw this one in here because it's just awesome. So you have a little pretty sweet survival island. I like how it's separated by this very thin layer of water. It's kind of like a sandbar, I guess you could say, between the islands, which is really, really cool. But the cool thing about this is there is an ocean monument right here. Look, just right. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's kind of dark. I'm sorry. Um, right here, an ocean monument, which is absolutely sick and insane so there we have oh the big boy right there so yeah just within i don't know i would probably say that's about a hundred uh yeah maybe about a hundred blocks within the island so i mean you can swim there easily no problem but it makes a really cool survival island and actually if we go into game mode three so we can actually go through the ground um there's some pretty cool stuff underground so we have a pretty cool uh ravine right here pretty nice pretty big but we also have a massive mine shaft if we go a little bit this way so you can see there is a huge mine shaft right here massive for you guys to explore it just keeps going it keeps going it even goes all the way over here and extends all through this area so this mine shaft is just absolute oh my gosh just look at it it's still going over here it's still going still going and it probably even continues more going towards that way but there is a massive mine shaft under here which i think makes this seed just a lot more awesome this next seed we have here isn't amazing on loot but i think it's an absolutely incredible starter seed so right when we generate i'm going to go ahead and switch over into creative so i can fly i spawned about right in this area so we have a swamp over there really nice but if we go right over here it's already in our distance we have a village right here and this village is pretty cool because it's kind of like on top of water and stuff pretty awesome looking village really weird really unique and we do have a blacksmith right over here so let's see what we have in here we have three diamonds some iron and boom so the reason i say this is a starter seed it's a really nice starter seed is because we already have our armor and we already have three diamonds the only thing we need to do is break a little bit of wood here or maybe this tree 
and then boom, we have a diamond pickaxe. Now you're like, Inspigable, well, where are you going with this? Let's go into game mode three so we can fly through the ground. Right under this village is a massive mine shaft, and I mean massive. Not only just a massive mine shaft, but we also have some crazy ravines over here, and we also have uh, oh, look, here's a spawner right here. Sweet. So we have a zombie spawner. Um, yeah, so just some crazy mine shafts, crazy ravines. There's multiple ravines throughout here. There's uh, one over here. Um, I don't know. It's just crazy. And you already have three diamonds and a couple pieces of armor all ready to get started. So I just think it's an awesome starter seed if you want to go right into the mining experience. This next seed we have here is pretty awesome. So here we have a village. Unfortunately, no blacksmith. But if we turn around, we have another village. Now, these two villages don't have any blacksmiths, unfortunately. But you can still retain a lot of loot and a lot of very useful items from these villages. But however, if we go over here... We have the third village with a blacksmith. Now, I don't believe this blacksmith has very good loot, but we still have a lot of awesome stuff in this seed. So we have a couple apples, an iron pickaxe, which is pretty useful. And then we also have a piece, couple pieces of bread. So let's go ahead and travel this way. And we are back at that village that we just saw. So if we go a little farther out here, boom! a desert temple so let's go ahead and see what this beautiful desert temple has to offer for us let's go ahead and hop in here boom oh oh no oh no no so we have quite a bit of gold rotten flesh bones and emerald which is pretty sweet definitely go ahead and use those emeralds or this emerald not those emeralds this single emerald if you can on one of those villages or go mining possibly find some more emeralds and use it on the villagers and here is our next desert temple surprisingly this one is actually really really close to our spawn so the the villages and stuff are just right over there so let's go ahead and see what this desert temple has in store for us don't break the pressure plate again unspeakable so we got more emeralds which would be really nice to go ahead and trade at those villages and then we have some more rotten flesh a couple pieces of gold and we have three diamonds which is awesome now i actually didn't notice this but remember this desert village right here and then our desert temple right over there we actually have an exposed little monster spawner or a dungeon i guess you could say over here so let's go ahead and see if we can find the chest and see what kind of loot oh there we go so we got a bucket oh we got some music disc and some gunpowder sweet so let's see what else we have in store for us here here's another chest a golden apple some diamond horse hour armor my bad couple name tags couple more buckets some more awesome stuff so we got some pretty sick stuff right here this is exactly where i spawned and right when i come up our first desert temple is right in front of us just in our vision so let's go ahead and head over to our very first desert temple and there's also an awesome mesa biome over here so sweet so let's go ahead and dig into this desert temple what do we have down here hello pressure plate all right so we have some iron horse armor i'm just gonna leave the rotten flesh in here because it's not really too important so we have some gold ingots iron ingots more pieces of iron horse armor then we have oh some diamonds indeed we do and then we have some more iron ingots so yeah all the coordinates for all the desert temples and villages that i find will also all be in the description of this video so if you ever get lost or anything and you need some coordinates they are all in the description so let's go ahead and go to the second temple here we are at our second desert temple, not too far away at all. So let's go ahead and hop in here and see what we have in store for us. Ooh, one iron ingot, ah, uh, some bones, lots of gold, sweet, and oh, there's the diamonds. So four diamonds out of that one chest. Let's go ahead and find our next desert temple. And our next desert temple, there is also a village over there. Now, unfortunately, that village does not have a blacksmith, but there's still some good resources that you can get there. So let's go ahead and hop into this temple. Let's see what we have here. Some more gold, a little bit of bones, diamond horse armor, more gold, more iron, a little bit more bones, and a sharpness three enchanting book which is awesome and some more iron and one more diamond so let's go ahead and go to our next desert temple 
Our next one is not even that far. Remember how we just saw that village? It's just on the other side of the village. So let's go ahead and hop in here and see what we can find in this next desert temple. Oop, don't want to hit the pressure plate. All right, so we got some more iron, more bones, an emerald, some gold horse armor, and a projectile protection 4 and sharpness 3 enchanting book. That is a crazy one. And more gold ingots, a little more bones. And then we have some more gold and a lot more bones. And yeah, of course, we always have a ton of rotten flesh. So let's go ahead and take a look at our last desert temple. And then we can get into the villages. All right, so here is the last desert temple that I could find. There could be more desert temples out there, honestly, because this desert is absolutely ginormous. But these are the ones that are really close to spawn. So we have, ah, just rotten flesh. More diamonds and a saddle. Nice, nice, nice. And more, even more diamonds. And then we have some iron ingots and some bones. So I'm not even going to stop the video. I'm not going to cut this because the desert temple, well, not the desert temple, the desert village is actually really close. So we're going to fly right over here. You guys can probably see it right now. And there's also another desert village, but it doesn't have a blacksmith. But you can still get some pretty good loot from a village without a blacksmith so this is the village with the blacksmith right here let's go ahead and see what we have in here we have ourselves an iron pickaxe some bread and iron helmets two golden ingots and some apples so you nearly have a stack of gold so you can see right here this is all the loot that we have pretty insane that is a lot of loot for being in a really close proximity of spawn now of course there can be a lot more loot found in this world i wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe another two or maybe three more desert temples out in this desert because this desert is absolutely ginormous it's a pretty awesome seed it's awesome and it's probably on your screen right now it's a lot of numbers and stuff but once we spawn in we're gonna spawn in about right here you know next to that little piece of grass next to that grass you should spawn about probably under this tree or something and then if we go under here i thought this was just really freaking cool like this little triangular looking island and then all the water surrounding it and i don't know i just thought it was gorgeous i just thought it looked really freaking cool but the main thing the highlights on the seed are probably gonna be the loot So if we first go right over here We literally walk like we spawned in right there and we literally walk just a few blocks and we have a little dungeon right here So I believe the chest are right here no i i don't remember exactly where the chests are we're gonna have to dig for them we're gonna have to dig for them that's the good part but one of these chests do have a protection three book in them so if we get a music stuff we, we got a music disc we got some horse armor i believe the other chest is right here and then mm, there's that enchanted book with protection three on it really nice we can just see that we are just loaded up with uh, lots of loots music disc and two pieces of iron horse armor and just some other iron armor then we also notice that there's a village right there and a desert temple let's go ahead and take a look at the village first it looks like it is the closest now remember these are all like within like i don't know less than 100 blocks of spawn so let's go ahead and run into the blacksmith over here and let's see what we have in store we have an iron sword an iron pickaxe and some bread we already got an iron sword and a pickaxe so you can already defend yourself and start your mining journey because there is a dungeon over there i guess you could kind of mine into the dungeon or something but there is there's some pretty good cave systems in the seed too and then if we go in here we will see. Y'all know where all the good loot is in the desert temple. Ooh, there we go. Three diamonds. So if you wanted to transform that sword or pickaxe into diamond, then you could do that right then and there. And then we got some more stuff. Let's see what else we got in here. More gold, more rotten flesh. I don't know why I'm grabbing the rotten flesh, but yeah, so that is that. So pretty freaking sweet. And that's all really close to spawn. So let's go and take a look at the awesome loot we got. It looks like we got a protection three enchanting book. We got some music discs, redstone, some ironing. It's three diamonds an iron pickaxe an iron sword two sets of iron horse armor we got 20 golden ingots over here we got some more music discs we got some buckets strings and that's just all really close to spawn there's also some great cave systems in the seed and not to mention the gorgeous landscape so we're gonna spawn about right here where this little kind of sand thing is and you got this little lake around it and if we go straight out here um all the coordinates will be in the screen so all the coordinates will be um 
in the description, not the screen. Uh, but if you get lost or something, then all the coordinates will be in the description and you will have no trouble finding all your stuff. And for some reason, this isn't wanting to generate, but you can see that we do have a nice looking village right here. Sadly, this village does not have a blacksmith, which means uh, you're going to have no chest in here. But it is a good kind of starter village because you can get a lot of wheat from here. Uh, if not, you can just keep uh, waiting for this stuff to grow. You can get plenty of bread, plenty, plenty of food. But if you actually go right over here across from the village i don't know why it's not generating very well let me go ahead and ch change my chunks down a little bit maybe that might help there you go that might help that helped a little bit but if you go right across here right across this little lake you can see that we have our first desert temple and this desert temple has some pretty good stuff in it it's gonna have some pretty good starter items and you're gonna see that we have two diamonds right there nice 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 we got a whole bunch of stuff let me just let me just collect all this stuff and there is the two more diamonds so we have quite a bit of rotten flesh uh 10 pieces of gold four pieces of iron and four diamonds and we got a saddle so i'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the next desert temple which is isn't that far all right made my way to the second desert temple i shouldn't even cut it that because i didn't know it was that close i literally just went right over this hill and it's, it's right here. It's not even that far. There is not even a need to cut that scene. But coordinates are probably on your screen. Let's see what this desert temple has in store for us. So we can go ahead and go in here. We got some more iron and gold. Got some more gold right there. We got some more gold. And we got some more gold and iron. So this desert temple isn't too special. But you know, loot is loot. And now let's go ahead and make our way to probably one of the best things in the seed. Which is the stronghold and end portal. All right, so I've made my way to where I think the end portal is. Coordinates are on your screen, also in the description. Let's go ahead and start digging down and see if we can find ourselves an end portal or a stronghold. It should be kind of deep because, you know, strongholds and end portals are normally not. And there you go. There it is. There it is. Hey, Silverfish, how you doing? But there you go. You can see the end portal. And we actually have some chest over here, which is pretty sweet. So you're going to have an iron chest plate and some bread. And then here we should have an iron sword. Yes, we do. We have an iron sword and a gold ingot. The seed is blank or blank, like just blank. It's right on your screen. It's just right there. So yeah, pretty, pretty interesting seed. But if we spawn on this island and we go to the side with the most sand, so you can see like, well, actually... Kind of the sides well you go to this side over here just the, the side with all the sand kind of flattened and you can see what is that i'm not sure if you guys can see that but you can kind of see that light down there that right there well you know what let's just go ahead and check it out maybe we can get some um let's go and grab some glowstone where's the glowstone 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 where are you because i just want to guys I just kind of want to show you guys what this is all right so let's go down here and what is this because i'm not sure if you can see because it might be a little dark down here but look at this oh wait look at these bricks what are these oh snap oh snap it's a stronghold it is a freaking stronghold all right let's 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 break in the stronghold and boom there you go what was that maybe like 20 blocks from spawn not even that far away and there you have yourself a wow just the ender por end portal right there just just jump in kill the ender dragon game defeated game over so this seed includes two villages six dungeons a mine shaft with diamonds and a stronghold with an ender portal end portal now all these items are actually relatively close to spawn within i would say about 500 blocks 500 to 600 blocks is the farthest you're going to travel and you can already see that we spawn out about right here and our first village is already right here so i'm not going to show you guys everything in this because there's a lot of stuff i'm only going to leave out i'm going to leave out the mine shaft and i'm going to leave out dungeon number four five and six but if you would like to travel to the mine shaft or dungeon four five and six um all the coordinates will be in the description for everything so here we go ahead and go into the blacksmith let's see what we have in here we have six pieces of obsidian an apple five oak saplings two pieces of bread and a saddle so i'm gonna go ahead and travel on my way to the next npc village and the next npc village actually has something special in it all right so i've made my way to the second npc village sadly this one does not have a blacksmith but what it does have is three dungeons right under it so i have marked these little things right here no these are not here before i just marked these so our first dungeon is going to be right here so you can see kind of the layout of the npc village and by the way the coordinates are probably already been on your screen for this npc village uh this is the last npc village there is only two but let's go ahead and hop in here and you can see that we have ourselves a dungeon. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, we got some good stuff. An enchantment book. Check out that enchantment book. 
you cannot tell me you don't want that enchantment book. I mean, did you see that? Wait, let's take another look at that. Just, just look at it. Wow, <laughs> that is incredible. Probably the most incredible uh, enchantment book I've ever seen. And then we can actually go over here. We can actually just really run over here. Or we can go out. Uh, let me go ahead and go out here and show you where the next one is. It's literally just right over here. Or you can just run under there. And I believe I accidentally broke the chest when I came over under here. So my bad. Sorry about that. It was just a couple of stuff. No important stuff really. The important stuff is the enchantment book right here. That was just... The chest that I broke was just had some iron and simple stuff in it. It was wasn't anything too important then we have more buckets and just loads loads of stuff my gosh that's what i call there's three dungeons right there so there was uh let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick so we have one right here one dungeon uh, i believe that is a spider spawner another dungeon right here that is a skeleton spawner and then another dungeon over here which is a zombie spawner so you have three different types of spawners so i say this is a good place to set up an xp farm somewhere over here so that's pretty good so um let's go ahead and take a look at the stronghold with the end portal in it all right guys so i've made my way to the last thing which i promised the stronghold let's go ahead and jump into it right now so here it is coordinates are on your screen gorgeously right there i actually did kind of travel a little quite far from this but it was actually close to our spawn about 200 blocks off from our spawn but here you can see it's stronghold not much to see you're welcome to go explore the rest of the uh, stronghold and mines and all that good stuff it includes six villages four desert temples two dungeons and a stronghold with an end portal and the farthest you're going to travel is up to 1000 blocks with which isn't too far at all now all these villages and dungeons and temples will include diamonds enchanting books golden apples and just so much stuff it is a incredible seed so i figured to do this in an organized manner we're going to visit all of these six villages first then the four desert temples then the two dungeons and then the stronghold at the end now if you ever get lost all the coordinates will be on the screen while you're watching this video and also all the coordinates will be in the description as well as the seed which is probably already been on your screen now to start off we will first turn around and see our first temple right where we spawn yes that is right we respawn uh, somewhere you should spawn somewhere in this area if you type the seed right and did i mention this is a 1.7.9 seed yes it is so if we go right over here to the blacksmith blacksmith um which is where the chest is which is where you're gonna get the loot we will see that we have some really good stuff you ready for it ready for it right up boom there we go three diamonds iron helmet obsidian and an iron sword almost enough to make an ender or a nether portal not end portal nether portal my, my bad but yeah, so now let's go ahead and take a look at our second village. Here is our second village. Sadly, this village does not have a blacksmith. The coordinates will probably be on your screen, but this does not have a blacksmith, which means you will not be getting any chest or any loot. You can still trade with the villagers and get plenty of wheat and probably set up a nice base camp here. But it's not too far away. It's just over the hill of our uh, previous village, or aka spawn. But now let's go ahead and take a look at a village with some iron armor and tools. About 400 blocks away, not even too far, we come across our next village. And here is our blacksmith. Let's see what this blacksmith has in store for us. So here we go. And there you go. Iron ingots, iron leggings, iron pickaxe, and some gold horse armor. Not our armor. Not too shabby. But now let's go ahead and take a look at our next village. Here's desert temple number four. Sadly, there is no blacksmith, but there is a temple right behind it check it out so there's no blacksmith but there is a temple a buried temple right behind it kind of hard to see when you first come in but let's go ahead and go down here and see what this gorgeous temple has in store for us so it looks like we got some bones mm, bones 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 we got some gold and iron and then we have an enchantment book with sharpness three i'm liking that and then our last chest just has some rotten flesh and bones but it's pretty cool the fact that this village is right next to a buried temple so i think that is pretty sick so now let's go ahead and take a look at our next village and here's desert temple number five we have one more desert or one more village after this sadly this village is pretty freaking small and it does not have a blacksmith which means you will be getting no chest but it is still a village it's still out there so i did want to show it to you guys so we have one more village you guys thought the last village was small but check out this one would i even consider this a village but i'm still going to show it to you guys because it is desert village number six and talk about tiny this is one small freaking desert village just two little house just two little three houses actually um 
but yeah and a little well but yeah that's that's desert temple number six for you uh honestly not even worth going uh for unless you're in the area and you need a uh testificate to trade with but otherwise let's go ahead and go on to the temples all right so here is one of the desert temples now sadly i made a mistake well actually i actually i didn't make the make the mistake but the guy who posted this seed made a mistake he accidentally doubled two of the desert temples so he said one of the desert temples was exactly right here and he said the other desert temple was exactly right here so i apologize for that so instead of four desert temples there is three not much of a biggie deal but anyways i apologize for that but here is the desert temple let's go ahead and move on and get inside this bad boy so here we have iron ingots and then we have rotten flesh more iron ingots and then we have iron ingots and more golden ingots and then we just have some more stuff so not too much in that desert temple but let's go ahead and take a look at our last desert temple Okay, so here is our last desert temple, and then we get to move on to our two dungeons and our end portal. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what kind of loots this dungeon or a temple, my bad, uh, has for us. So here we have three more diamonds. Check that out. A total of six diamonds so far. Two more diamonds. Now we have a total of eight diamonds. Then we have some more gold, lots of more bones, a lot of rotten flesh. Then we have a little bit more of iron ingots and another saddle. So I would say that is a desert temple worth, worth traveling to. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at our two dungeons and then our end portal Okay, so here is our um, First dungeon it was actually right next to the temple I did not know that till I looked at the coordinates But that's the temple that we just looked at and here's our dungeon So yeah, literally like what is that like 20 blocks? So let's go see uh, I actually had to uncover this stuff You can see the sand was all the way up to here and then I had to dig down and now you can see the stuff We do have I believe what is this a spider spawner and this one and our next one is a zombie spawner But it looks like we're gonna have some name tags loads of saddles We have a music disc right there and then in this one We're gonna have more name tags more golden horse armor and uh, more saddles So now let's go ahead and take a look at our last dungeon and then we'll get on to our very last thing Which is the end portal all right, so here is our dungeon our very last dungeon Let's go ahead and pop into here see what we have in store for us This one is a zombie spawner indeed like I said and here we have a golden apple There we go That's the golden apple we've been looking for that I told you guys in the beginning But there is only one chest in there sadly But yeah, and then there's a cave system you can go explore which is pretty cool But I think the golden apple is worth it. I mean that, that's pretty sweet look at this We only have a we almost have a full inventory of stuff But now let's go ahead and take a look at our very last last thing which is the end portal and stronghold and last but not least we have the end portal now this core these coordinates actually send you somewhere over here in this area i don't remember exactly where it was but it's somewhere over here now if you actually use some um eye of Ender, you can actually see that the that uh the coordinates actually take you to the stronghold but it does not take you to the end portal and the end portal is uh right here so you, it's it's really close to the coordinates of used eye of enders you can easily get to it it'll probably just take you a couple of eye of enders no problem but we can just go down here and we can see uh the end portal so there it is but if you if you use the coordinates that were on screen then you're just going to have to wander around here and eventually you will find the end portal or if you just use eye of enders you'll be uh very fairly close to it it's only like 20 blocks Starting off with a quad village. That's right, quadruple village all within spawn. So the seed is 1417801910. So we're gonna have multiple types of biomes here, such as desert, plains, savanna, and swamps. And you have four villages. Now, out of these four villages, two of them are going to have blacksmiths, and you have some pretty good loot within the blacksmiths. So our first village is going to be right at spawn. Our second and third village are going to be in the desert. And then our last village is kind of right across the river of the desert and it's in a plain biome that's going to be our fourth village now i'm pretty sure there's a lot of awesome other stuff in this seed this is within like a close proximity of within a hundred blocks of spawn which is pretty sweet so in the first blacksmith you will be seeing two iron ingots two emeralds two pieces of bread and one apple in the second blacksmith you will be seeing two emeralds two iron helmets and one pair of iron boots the next seed we have here is another village seed and we are going to be seeing probably one of the biggest villages I have ever seen in like the history of Minecraft. So the seed is 13885822293 and when you spawn in you're going to be really close to this massive village with multiple houses, gardens, blacksmiths, churches. It's just a massive Minecraft village city I guess you could say. 
Our next seed is three temples and one village within a hundred blocks of spawn. This one is just absolutely crazy. And then if you enter your first temple, you're going to find 13 bones, six gold ingots, seven pieces of rotten flesh, one iron ingot, and one diamond. And then in the village, you do have a blacksmith and you will be finding the following items such as four ink sacks, five pieces of bread, two iron ingots, and two saplings. And then if you go on to the second temple, you will be finding two gold ingots, five iron and get seven pieces of rotten flesh one more diamond and nine pieces of bone and then our last third temple about 80 blocks behind the second temple is going to contain six bones four gold ingots six iron ingots and six pieces of rotten flesh so you have a lot of loot here just within a hundred blocks of spawn you have three temples and one village our next seed is going to contain a stronghold and an end portal under a village. The seed is called Robot. Very simple and easy to remember. So once you get into this village, go ahead and head off into the well and jump down into it and pick a kind of a corner and dig down into the stronghold. Once you get down into the staircase of that stronghold, go ahead and exit out of the door, turn to your left and you should see more staircases. Go down two more staircases and you should see the end portal. In this seed, you'll end up spawning on a small, deserted landmass with nothing but endless oceans surrounding you. The seed is called Mesa Please. Yeah, Mesa PLZ. How weird is that for a seed name? But once you spawn on this little island, you have one tree. Yes, one single tree. So it looks like you're going to have to savor that tree a little bit. But underneath this island is a network of deep tunnels and caves filled with iron, gold, you name it, resources, and tons of diamonds for you to explore. In this next seed, this seed is going to be an ice spike seed with a village on the ice. So the seed is 14, 10, 40, 35, 32. A little bit long of numbers, but once we generate into the seed, you're going to see the ice spikes. And if you go a little bit over the ice spikes, you will find your village with a blacksmith on the ice. Here we have one crazy diamond seed. So the seed is 1405 13579. It's a lot of numbers, but if you get it down, then you have found yourself a ton of ores and diamonds. So once you spawn into the world, go ahead and turn around and make your way to the desert biome, which is only just a couple blocks across a little bit of a river. And then you should see three kind of holes in the ground. You want to dig in the middle, about in the middle of these three holes, and you're going to come, come across a uh, pretty big cave system. It's not like the biggest cave system I've ever seen but it's a pretty decently sized cave system and within this cave system you have so many ores it is insane you have diamonds that are exposed you have tons of redstone lapis gold iron coal you name it apparently to the author or the person that found this seed you can get about 20 plus diamonds here we have another survival island seed. So this seed is 142783 Yeah, that's a lot of numbers, but this survival island is different than the previous one we looked at. The other survival island was pretty small and it was just an island with one tree on it. However, this one is a much bigger of an island and it has a village on it with a blacksmith how cool is that so within this blacksmith you're going to find two emeralds two gold ingots one iron ingot and two loaves of bread it's not a lot but then again you have a whole entire village on your little survival island in this seed, you're going to spawn in a double village with some beautiful biomes on top of your village. So within the village, you have some crazy of a blacksmith. You have two gold ingots, you have two saplings, two iron helmets, three pieces of bread, and one iron pickaxe in that single blacksmith of the double village. Now, right next to this village, or pretty much on side of the village, you have the Mesa biome, which is absolutely beautiful to explore. In our last seed, we're going to be seeing a triple village all combined and some desert temples. So the seed is 21, 60, 92, 15, 5. Yeah, I know it's a lot of numbers, but once you type it in, you're going to kind of look up and you'll see a crazy savanna mountain. Go over that mountain and you'll reach a big open field and then you'll see some more mountains in front. Now, once you go all the way to those mountains, you're going to see a little path 
through a valley and go straight through that and go a little bit farther and you should see one of your villages that go over this hill so you have a triple village that starts on one side of the hill continues on top of the hill and then ends on the other side of the hill it's just crazy and within that you have two blacksmith which has one iron pickaxe one iron helmet two pieces of bread and then the second blacksmith you will be seeing one iron sword five ink sacks, three pieces of bread, one iron chest plate, three iron ingots, two apples, and one emerald. Then after that, you will be seeing a desert temple if you continue forward out into the desert. And within this desert temple, you will be seeing 26 bones, 11 iron ingots, eight pieces of gold, and six pieces of rotten flesh. All right, everyone, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Now, before you guys go, just before you guys go, just hold on one more second. I know this was a long video, but I just want to say I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Okay, now you can go but i just hope that everyone that has watched this video has a fantastic rest of your day because it's not bad it's not i mean it's not bad to have a good day feel positive you know just be positive and have a good day that's i mean that's all i want and if you guys would like to give this video a thumbs up of course you can do so but i don't know my channel is all about being positive i guess you could say i I really just want everyone that watches my videos to just have a good day, have um, have a smile when they watch the video, or I don't know anything like that. I love people. I love making people happy, and that's why in the beginning of every single one of my videos, I always say I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. But I know I'm kind of rumbling on here. Again, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I hope you guys continue to have a fantastic day. But I want to thank you guys also so much for watching. Hopefully you have found yourself some new Minecraft seeds within PC or Minecraft Pocket Edition. If you play both Minecraft PC and Pocket Edition, then um, yeah, you're you're in good luck here because there are some amazing seeds in this video. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these seeds were your favorite or which one you plan on using within your PC or Minecraft Pocket Edition world. But anyways, guys, I'm rumbling on now like crazy, but I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you guys later in another Minecraft video.